in the season finale of The Cleaning Lady, Tony is given one more chance, despite all the chances and all the back talk she's given thus far, in order to stop the guillotine from dropping and cutting her head off. And in order to get out of this horrible situation she's in, she is reliant on Amon once more to not just help her out, but to possibly put himself on the line as well. So, what's happening here? In topic one, we'll go into that. Right now, despite the litany of charges that were presented about Tony going to jail, deported, all this type of stuff, it seems that Catherine Russo, Katie, who we might refer to for the rest of this episode, I mean, just recap out of this, she's kind of like, yeah, we mentioned all them charges. Yeah, we mentioned that Garrett's going to get fired, but, you know, we're going to give you another chance. Almost as if there was just some huge plan where, you know, Garrett couldn't be aware of what Katie wanted to do, so instead she decided, let's make this seem bigger than it is, and with that, we'll finally get the results we want. Now... Tony, because of her deciding to strike a new deal, she gets to go home, and with that, she immediately is starting to make plans. She decides she wants to go see Armand, who, of course, Nadia is just like, why are you here? Your child is healthy. Your child is safe. Why do you keep messing with my life? But Armand keeps humoring Tony, so... They go to the back room. She explains the situation with the FBI and everything, and that's how she got back to America. And with that, the discussion about him snitching starts up. Now, Amon's been around for long enough to see what happens to people who rat. And with that, he's like, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Yet, in a way, Amon looks at it this way. His relationship with Hayek is damaged to the point it probably can't be repaired. So if he's able to take down Hayek by using Garrett, that could not only mean him getting the money he needs to start over, but also handling this Hayek situation. So with that, he he eases his way into the idea of meeting with Garrett. And when he meets with Garrett, there is definitely a clear note that I don't trust you. And when it comes to doing all this, it's not because I want to, but it's for Tony. For our second topic, we just have to go into how Marco feels about all this. Because at this point, he's like, Luca had his surgery, so why are we still here? And when it comes to the FBI thing, he's just like, snitch on our mind so we can go. Because clearly Marco feels that... With him being Fiona's household, with him not really having any allies or power in America, this is not a good place for him. He needs to feel like he's the man. He needs to feel like he has some realm of control and influence, and that's not happening here. And bad enough that Tony, when she left for Luca, it was without him, and she tried to sneak out so he wouldn't even know until he woke up the next day. But now she's making all these decisions without him. It's just making it so, right now, Marco feels heavily disrespected and it's just continuing in a way that makes him question, should I even fight for this relationship with my wife or should I just worry strictly about my son and what I feel like he needs since thus far that's all she's been doing. For the final topic, we're going to just go into how the season ends. As Armand noted, he does not trust Garrett and he is right to do so because Garrett is really has a strong grasp on the idea that it is Harmon, Harmon, it is Armand that killed Theo. And because of that, he needs to go down because he killed his informant. Tony tries to explain that it wasn't Armand that killed Theo. It was actually Hayek's son, but Gar- Garrett doesn't care. He's stuck in his mindset, stuck in his ways. So even though him and Armand are working together to take down Hayek and also know in the process, in the end, Garrett screws over Armand. So when the arrests come, Renee gets the guns and the ATF possibly gets what they needed. And when it comes to Armand, Hayek, and Noah, they all get arrested. And Garrett doesn't kind of single out Armand so he doesn't have to go down. Whatever deal that they made, it wasn't in writing, it's not official, and with that, he decides you can go to prison right with your boss. 
But one thing that he doesn't get, and that Garrett doesn't get that is, he doesn't get the money involved in the transfer. That was on a USB drive with cryptocurrency on it. And with that, Amon has what he needs to possibly continue. He has that put into a tr trade card for a um, for one of the help. Not the help. He has that put on a trade card for Tony. She picks it up. And with that, she is now tasked with working with Nadia in order to dispense the money so that nothing, you know, no red flags. And on top of that, because Hayek isn't aware of Armand working the FBI and he knows he needs someone on the outside, he decides since Hayek's lawyer thinks they can get Armand off, Armand is going to run everything, especially since Isabel snitched on her dad and was even willing to give over his books. So now Armand has to be that person who's looking after things. And with that, while Armand may or may not get to still manage a club, now they need something else to launder all of Hayek's money, and that becomes Tony's job. With Fiona, they plan to start their own cleaning business, which is going to clean Armand, technically Armand's too, but mainly Hayek's money. And also, because of all Tony went through in order to get to this point, she's going to have a little clinic in the warehouse, which is going to be so that even though she's not licensed to be a doctor in the U.S., she could at least help people who are either underinsured, maybe they're immigrants who are kind of afraid of the system, or, like her, just couldn't get any help in the system. Now, whether or not it's going to be like the former nun that was down south of the border, who knows? Only thing that we know for sure is that Tony has a plan for what her future is going to be, and it's not going to be her getting out of the system and dealing with all the criminal stuff. It's her getting it deeper, but trying to apparently keep it more white collar than dealing with cleaning up after people getting murdered, drugs all over the place and stuff like that. Though, considering that Tony has opened up a warehouse to handle all this stuff, if you think for a second that Armand or Nadia is not going to have stuff stored there, you would be foolish. But one of the things that may complicate Tony really being gung-ho on this whole project and really just dedicating herself fully to it is the fact that Marco decides, like, Tony took her, their son just because she wanted to and just leave without saying anything. He decides he's going to do the same, and now Luca appears to be heading to the Philippines. Now, whether or not that's going to be to kind of make the character more of a supporting role than one of the leads or series regulars, it's hard to say. Because with Tony taking on this new project, you can see that really taking over the show. But we're not a writer on this show, so we don't know what's happening next. But it's definitely going to be an interesting thing to see how they decide to keep Luca part of the show when he's not in the U.S., and Tony has no real ability to go over to the Philippines and snatch him back. Instead, she's reliant on Marco now to keep in touch with her child. And considering the way he is, whether or not he decides to just co-parent or kind of use Luca in order to like be a dangling character to get her back home, it's hard to say. But in season two, assuming that this gets renewed, we'll find out. So the main and only highlight when it comes to this episode is just how perfectly it sets up another season, especially when it comes to a lot of the characters we haven't really learned much about finally getting their due. Like, just for example, with Hayek in prison, with Aman definitely going to be in prison at least for the first few episodes, unless they do a time jump, it means Nadia has to be talked about. She has to be at the forefront because that is Tony's main point of contact when it comes to cleaning his money and doing who knows what else. So hopefully, even if they don't become friends, at the very least, what Nadia has to do in order to cover for Armand, keep the business going at the club and all that, which, who knows, may also include dealing with Isabel, she will become much more than Armand's wife, who is good at being his business partner, but beyond that, understanding their marriage, understanding who she is as an individual, that has been murky and it can finally get cleared up. And I would even add in, because Fiona is also going to get a boost since I definitely think that Tony's going to have her manage the different maids and also, you know, help recruiting. It could mean that a lot of the stuff that was touched upon by Marco in terms of why she ran away from Manila in the Philippines, never mind even kind of touching upon who 
her trajectory when it comes to being in America, you know, like, for example, meeting Jazz's dad and having a kid with him, it could be the potential trigger for us really getting to know her as she has to interact, as she has to recruit, as she has to manage people and kind of balance who she wanted to be her boss throughout her years as a TNT, yet also having to balance what kind of boss she needs to be in order to maintain respect in her business as well as get what she needs from the various people that are going to work for her. And I would even throw in, when it comes to Chris and Jazz, this could be a prime opportunity for them because when it comes to Chris, he's 16, 17, and while he is doing his docking paperwork... He's going to need a job sooner or later, and I'm pretty sure that just babysitting Jazz is not going to be enough when it comes to Fiona. She'd rather him work, and maybe, you know, Jazz may end up working there too. Of course, unofficially, but, you know, it's already a legal establishment, so a little child labor never going to hurt nobody. But <laughs> the whole point slash idea is Chris, as he's working either on the maid side or else helping Tony at the clinic... Both him and Jazz could possibly talk about who they are in their lives. They could start learning stuff. And, and maybe, you know, the idea of becoming a nurse may come into play when it comes to Chris or Jazz. The idea of, you know, one of the things that we mentioned in earlier recaps is how perhaps this show starts to mirror things. So while Armand kind of saw himself in Luca, maybe we may get another character in terms of how... Armand got into the whole arms dealing game with Hayek. Maybe we may see that through Chris in terms of him learning the ropes of what Tony's into and what she's doing as Jazz, you know, unaware of what's going on, kind of looks around and kind of figures things out. And with that, eventually, you know, she starts to maybe mirror what Nadia went through when she started to learn everything. I mean, it's not a definite this is going to happen, but... I feel that right now, while I don't dislike Luca, I don't, actually I don't like Marco as a character at all, but with him being gone and that whole saga not being resolved, but at least making a major step forward, I do hope and think this show can shift his focus away from Luca and all that Tony had to do for him, and since she decided for reasons that I'm still not 100% on, that she's going to double down on working with Armand and even get involved in the criminal element of his life. This show can do so much with that, and especially so much with characters who, like many shows in the first season, just couldn't be focused on because there wasn't enough time to build the audience and build up the main character and also focus on the slew of supporting people who, of course, have potential and definitely have storylines that they know fans want to invest in, but... In order to get to the higher ground, you have to build up the foundation. And right now, everything's built up when it comes to Tony, Amon, and Hayek. So now they can start building suites and floors and what have you so that Nadia can be full-fledged characters, so that Fiona can not just be teased every now and then, but be a whole person and even us to get to know her kids and her past in general.